Alright guys, I wanted to show you this uh, Guide Gear uh, two-piece ATV basket set from Sportsman's Guide. There's their website. I live in Minnesota, so they ship really quick. I got like the couple days after I ordered it. I just got done mounting it. I really like the, and this is cheap. It's under hundred dollars. Uh, even cheaper if you have a subscription with them. Um, I think I paid like 70 or something. So here's the front basket. I only have it mounted back here because it's I can't really get my fingers in to, to attach up front. But it's really solid. I'm pulling on it here. And it, it's good and solid. I like that basket. And it clears when you mount it all the way forward. This is Arctic Cat 300. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I forget what year this is. It's an older, like a 08 or something like that. I don't remember. It's, uh, it's a 4x4. You can probably look it up pretty easy. But, and this is the, this was a 250. Yeah, this is a 250cc, I'm pretty sure, but they call it a 300, I guess. <clears throat> Anyhow, so that's the front basket. Oh, here's a little size comparison. Let me grab you. Here's a bar and chain oil. So there you go. I think they have the measurements on the website, but I don't recall for certain. So you got about three foot across, and then about 17 inches deep. In the back rack, you see they have slits in both of them to go over your little bar if you have a little bar. I have a bar on the front and back. It actually goes over it. So here's the back one. This one's quite a bit bigger. Put the jug in there. See how big that is. And this one should be about the same across, I would think. Double check. Now it's a little wider. About 41 inches. And then front to back, it's not going to be perfect because of the angle here, but almost 30. No, I'd be closer to 28, 29, like 28 and a half, 29 inches. This one I have mounted four spots right here, here. There and there. Same on the other side. It comes with these bars that are really nice and then uh, nylon locking bolts and these long bolts. Also comes with uh, these things which I didn't use and this long bar unit which I didn't use. Um, I didn't even read the directions. I just put on how I wanted it but it seems very solid. You have to remember, you can't put a lot of weight on these anyhow. Like my back rack, total weight is, what is it? 200 pounds, supposedly. So, I'm already taking off, you know, 40, 50 just for the battery sitting on there. I could put a smaller battery, but I just want to be able to throw my chainsaw on the back or some ropes and 
you know, small stuff. It doesn't weigh a whole lot. On my front, I don't even see how much. Only 100 pounds on the front, so same deal. You can't carry much anyhow on these baskets. The reviews were fairly good, a little bit mixed. Uh, maybe most people were saying that it was kind of chintzy and weak. And you can see if I push on the back here, well, maybe you can't see. It does flex a little bit, kind of. I could probably snap it if I, you know, jumped on the back end or something. But it's not made for that. Like I say, it's only made to take so much weight. And I thought about moving it forward because really I'm wasting some space here. I thought about moving it forward, this front of, edge of it up to this bar. But then I would have to either cut my my bumper thing off the back of the four-wheeler or really modify the hell out of this and I didn't really want to do either so I'm just gonna leave it for now unless they change my mind and my trailer clears so that's the main thing my little dump trailer so well I thought it was a pretty nice little looking unit I wanted to show you got a bunch of stuff on here now. I got my uh, Picaroon right there. I got my all metal short axe under there. Got my my uh, Milwaukee Sawzall, gas oil, choker cables under there, which might not be the best spot. I'll move this stuff around, but just to give you an idea how much room there is. You know, huh, the saw actually fit real good back here, in the box even. So, and the, of course that's not a Husqvarna in there, that's my still, but. Yeah, I still got lots of room, I put a, I think I'm going to put a barrel over there with my rope come along and rope. And my throw line. And, somewhere I got to put a little hatchet. And yeah, yeah, work out pretty nice for doing some moves and logs around and stuff. Got it all set up there.